folks today I'd like to take a casual peek into my goodie haul report for the month of May of 2013 I believe this is my second uh, one for the month of May uh, today is Monday uh, the 20th and uh, I have uh, some goodies to share with everyone uh, a lot of it comic related either in book form or uh, figure form or uh, what have you and uh, just to get started we have here a uh, short box uh, being the month of May, uh, that's uh, really uh, when uh, Free Comic Book Day is held, the uh, first Saturday in May. So I decided to get a short box here, uh, mainly because uh, my uh, other boxes are starting to get full. And uh, with uh, uh, the Free Comic Book Day's additional uh, new comics, so I need to increase uh, my storage capacity, you could say. And uh, I normally uh, stick to short boxes. They're, for me personally, I don't like long boxes. I I think they're too uh, unwieldy, at least for me. And uh, short boxes uh, are much easier to uh, uh, wield uh, <laughs> and uh, a lot lighter. But uh, I got a short box at my uh, local comic shop uh, just before Free Comic Book Day, and this uh, costs about three dollars, I believe. And uh, but. Uh, that's uh, that there, and uh, speaking of free comic book day uh, being the first Saturday in May, uh, every year uh, local comic shops that participate uh, give out free comics, and uh, one of the shops that I go to, uh, I try to go to uh, on a regular basis, is uh, Empire's Comics Vault. And I'll see if I can post a link. I don't know if they have a web page or not, uh, but I'll post a link down below. It's one of my more favorite uh, comic shops in uh, where I live, and uh, or near where I live. I uh, don't live nearby, but uh, I frequent it uh, the most often. And uh, they're just a great uh, comic shop. Uh, and just to show you here, these are all the free comic books that I was able to pick up on Free Comic Book Day. Uh, from various shops and was and I would say that all but five or six of the books I got from one shop and that was Empire's Comics Vault uh, and that's how cool they are a lot of shops in my area a lot of other shops excuse me uh, they restrict you for to maybe one or two uh, free comics uh, on free comic book day uh, but uh, Empire's Comics Vault uh, their policy was uh, you can have uh, as many books as you want uh, as long as you get at least like one of each title or if you're not interested in a title uh, you can uh, please uh, have they say to uh, leave it in there for the other folks but uh, you can get it uh, as many as you want basically and that was cool and uh, just to go over some of the books I was able to pick up here and see if I can turn this up a little bit. Uh, we got here Gossamer, and uh, for it looks like an independent title. And the other half here, uh, the Stuff of Legend, pretty cool. Uh, Grim, and uh, it looks like Battlestar Galactica from Dynamite. And uh, this here is, I think I uh, left this here from from a previous uh, haul, but this is just a an old comic without a cover. And uh, Free Comic Book Day also included Hulk and the Agents of Smash in uh, Ultimate Spider-Man there. And uh, we have Mega Man and Sonic the Hedgehog. So that's cool. And the Batman, Super Sampler, and T-Titans Go. And uh, Superman. And uh, Infinity. Pretty cool. Uh, the Tick. Uh, Rama Ramayan, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, from Graphic India. Pretty cool. Steam Engines of Oz. It looks like a steampunk type title. And uh, Arcana. I don't know if that's a two in one. A lot of these free comics are a two in one. 
Uh, here is Dark uh, Minds. This is one of the few uh, comics I uh, was not uh, that I got uh, from another shop. This is an image, and this uh, no, not this one. There was another one that uh, had a uh, glow in the dark. I thought it was that one, but it's not. Uh, we have here uh, Star Wars from uh, Dark Horse. Oh, it looks like uh, they also have an avatar on the other side there. Uh, Walking Dead. And uh, the Strangers from Oni Press. Prince Valiant. That looks like a reprint of the uh, comics I used to read in the Sunday uh, newspapers. Uh, when they had the color comic uh, in their papers, they always had a Prince Valiant when I was growing up. I don't know if this... I think this is a reprint of those uh, comic strips. So, uh, the artwork looks very similar. So, And then we have here Kellerman uh, Lam Lamour. I think it's like a Louis Lamour adaptation here. Pretty cool. And uh, what's this one here? Valiant 2013. Pretty cool. Maybe a sampler there. Valiant Masters from Valiant. Buck Rogers, uh, another what looks like reprint of comic strips from uh, newspapers. I could be wrong, but it looks like in that style. SpongeBob, of course. Had to pick that one up. Big fan of SpongeBob. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And uh, Avatar. Oh, it looks like I, I got a second copy of the Star Wars. I may have uh, picked it up thinking it was a different comic altogether. Uh, Endangered Weapon B. Uh, that looks like an interesting title. I don't know if that's Cthulhu based or not, uh, but maybe not. But uh, pretty cool. And uh, here's the glow in the dark one I was talking about. Uh, is that Moon or Noon Cyber? I think it's Noon Cyber or Neon Cyber. <laughs> Excuse me, I can't read the font there. But uh, this one actually glows in the dark, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, Crimson Plague from uh, Image. Radix. And this one seemed to be signed. I don't know if that's actual... Uh, I don't know who signed that. Uh, maybe the artist involved in here. Uh, but that, I think that's uh, kind of cool. And uh, The Continuum by ECV Press, which I believe is Empire's Comics Vault. They have their own publishing as well for independent uh, folks there. And uh, Judge Dredd from IDW and uh, Mouse Guard. So, and uh, it looks like on the other side, uh, Rust. So, uh, those were the free comics I was able to pick up on Free Comic Book Day. And uh, Munchkin Number Two had his own set of comics. Uh, so, that uh, was uh, pretty cool. Now, uh, going over some other goodies. I did pick up some other uh, books uh, from uh, other places uh, beyond uh, Free Comic Book Day. And uh, let me just pull this one out see where this one is from. This one is from Empire's Comics Vault there. And uh, I think I picked these up last week. I had an advertisement for Blint there. And it looks like there's an upcoming con in the local area, SACCon, on June 2nd. We'll probably be attending that one. And uh, some uh, cards for Empire's Comics Vault. Uh, pretty cool there. And it uh, looks like uh, they included a free coverless comic. Probably uh, some extra comics they had and they had to pull the cover off. Uh, so they can give it out for free, I guess. What is this from? Um, probably from a free comic book day. It's pretty thin. It just says DC Comics on there. So it looks like some Red Lantern stuff there. Uh, some books I picked up. Uh, Nightwing number 20. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe number 2. Oh, this one actually is written by uh, Keith Giffen. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Constantine uh, number three, Justice League of America number 
three. And uh, Winter Soldier number 18. And uh, Uncanny X-Men number three. And it uh, looks like uh, Empire's Comics Vault. Uh, that's their uh, information there. They changed their logo on the backing cards. Uh, looks like they updated it. So that's pretty cool. And I did pick up some books on uh, another place. Uh, this one was, if I remember, A1 Comics. And in, uh, where is it? Uh, I know they have one in the, uh, not Carmichael area, uh, but uh, they have two stores, one in Roseville and the other one in, I can't remember where exactly it's at, but uh, this is the other one. Um, but uh, this here is DC Entertainment, this is free, basically, preview of the graphic novels for 2013 by DC. So, uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Uncanny X-Men, uh, number four, I was able to pick up. And uh, Uncanny X-Men number 5. Uh, here, uh, Iron Man number 9. And uh, Iron Man uh, number 10. Avengers number 4. And Suicide Squad number 20. And I just noticed um, another reason why I like uh, Empire's Comics Vault. Uh, they include, uh, when you buy their new uh, releases, they include a bag and a board for free. You don't have to pay for it. So that's kind of cool. Alright, uh, let me just pause this a second here. Okay, we're back. I just had to organize uh, some of the stuff, clean up some of the books, uh, get them out of the way. Uh, but uh, some other goodies I was able to find in the last couple weeks. Uh, I was able to pick up this one here. Uh, this is the Avengers uh, Shatter Blaster Iron Man. I picked this up shortly after watching the uh, Iron Man movie that came out uh, recently. Uh, I remembered I didn't have a Mark 7 in 4 inch form. And I knew they had an earlier release of that in the Avengers line. But really uh, poor articulation. But uh, this one here is another version of that Iron Man Mark 7 uh, with a little bit better articulation uh, but uh, number 18 there and I can't remember where I picked it up I think it was Walmart for about eight nine dollars there I was able to pick that up just to increase uh, my ranks of four inch Iron Man figures uh, I was able to pick up this here at A1 Comics uh, when I was at uh, picking up their com uh, certain comics there and this is the Hyperion of the Hit Monkey Wave of Marvel Legends. And I got this one for $20.99. Uh, uh, very interesting way uh, that they're distributing uh, these figures, at least the uh, Build-A-Figures now. There's only three, from what I take it, uh, figures in the Wave that contain the Build-A-Figure parts. Uh, and three that don't. Uh, you can see here, they just included the preview of the three uh, that include the Hit Monkey Wave. But uh, in this wave is also a uh, Captain America, Wolverine, and uh, I'm trying to remember who the other figure is. I can't remember off the top of my head right now. In the wave that don't have uh, the uh, Hit Monkey build a figure. But, uh, but they don't include anything else. Uh, they don't even include the base that was in the previous wave uh, to compensate. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I did pick up uh, a few multimedia. I picked up this movie here, Cloud Atlas. And uh, uh, this is a movie that uh, I saw the trailer uh, back in, I think it was September of 2012. And... Uh, I loved the, the trailer so much, and I was really looking forward to watching the movie, but uh, circumstances uh, happened uh, where I was not able to watch it in theaters, and I kind of regret not watching it in theaters. So I was really looking forward to the DVD release, and it came out, I think it was last week, and I uh, couldn't wait to watch it. I already have it opened up, and uh, I love this movie. Really great movie by the Wachowski uh uh, brothers and uh, just 
really regret watching not watching this movie when it came out in theaters and uh but i have it here finally and i uh, love this movie great movie and uh also i was able to pick up fringe of uh, the fifth and final season at target for i think it was 26 dollars at the time uh, when it first came out and uh Finally, I have this one to, to complete uh, my fringe collection. Uh, and uh, actually, I uh, I was only able to watch up to season two and a half. And uh, I have all the seasons one through four. And I, and I DVR'd uh, season five, but I never watched it because I, I wanted uh, to have uh, this... <laughs> Uh, available to me on DVD but uh, so I never really watched the DVR uh, just funny that way but uh, anyways I plan to actually start watching Fringe uh, from season 1 on to uh, now that I have this here uh, some other goodies I was able to pick up I was uh, able to pick up at a Walmart the second half of uh, the Iron Monger Wave of Marvel Legends, and uh, these just showed up uh, this week at retail. And uh, we have here, of course, uh, the Mark 42 Iron Man. Uh, about a week after the movie came out, so would have been nice if they had released this uh, just prior to the release. But uh, it's it's here finally, and I gotta say that. Um, the uh, paint apps on the second half are not as great as uh, the first half that had the Iron Patriot, the uh, modular armor, and uh, who was it? The the other one. I can't remember who the other one was. Uh, the Oh, the classic Iron Man. Uh, the first half of that wave was actually pretty good in paint apps department. But the second half is uh, kind of questionable. And... Uh, Fortunately, uh, there was more than one case at this Walmart that I found these at, so I, I had my choice of the better paint apps uh, from the ones at uh, Walmart. But even then, I thought it was eh, hit and miss. So I even went and uh, found another set at uh, another set of three at a Target. And I'm going to compare these uh, with the ones here and then return the uh, the one I don't like. Uh, because these paint apps are spotty. Uh, it's not majorly bad. It's just uh, areas here and there. Maybe I'm just nitpicking that I'm not too happy with. Like over here on the arm. Uh, it's not uh, lined up against the groove and all that kind of stuff. Maybe I'm just being picky. And it's actually paint apps is kind of uh, worse on the uh, uh, the Iron Patriot or the James Rhodes. But uh, so I have had to really uh, look, pick and choose to find the one with a nice paint apps. You can see right here, just not quite paint uh, into the pointed area on the torso there. Uh, but uh, I'll have to compare it between the ones I have and keep the one, one with the better paint apps. And then you have uh, Ultron here, which uh, paint app wise is nothing to worry about other than just really the mouth and eye area. Everything else uh, <laughs> is uh, you don't really have to worry about. Uh, uh, unless you're really looking for a nicely painted uh, Iron Monger head, because I've noticed uh, the several I've seen, the black. In the mouth area is off shifted and uh, I had to find one where it was nicely uh, uh, applied on the paint but uh, I got these for $15 each at uh, Walmart and Target so I'll return uh, the uh, worst of the sets here after I take a look at them but uh, I got those and um, over at a um, Toy Fusion, the local secondhand uh, pop culture store uh, in my area, I found this, which is pretty cool. This is something I've been looking forward to getting 
since it came out uh, last year. This is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Uh, of course, I was not able to pick one up uh, in San Diego. Uh, uh, but they had them briefly on sale on the Hasbro Toy Shop website, ever so briefly. Uh, but I was never able to pick one up. And uh, I finally saw one here at Toy Fusion. Actually, I saw this one a, a couple months back. It was selling for originally $165, $170. Uh, but I didn't pick it up because of that price. Uh, but uh, just uh, recently, I went back there and happened to see this one with the price uh, reduction of uh, down to 135 so I decided to go ahead and pick it up at that price even though it's still more expensive than uh, the original price this sold for I think this sold for originally sold for 50 or 60 dollars so 135 dollars is still t a bit pricey but much cheaper than it was when I first saw it at Toy Fusion so decided to go ahead and pick it up and uh, really like that uh, Archangel there especially those wings and uh, this here, a Psylocke, uh, using that female Hasbro body mold. And uh, of course a Wolverine with uh, some nice claws. Although this one here is a little off shifted there. Hopefully I can put that back into place. But the claws there are really looking nice. They're uh, like the wings uh, plated in that silver paint. It's uh, pretty cool. Or painted in that silver paint, sorry. But... Uh, pretty cool let's see here doing on time I think I might have to uh, take a break here hold on all right now uh, we're back and uh, I just uh, recently uh, found some of the new uh, Lego uh, hero factory brain attack wave uh, the second uh, wave of the year uh, released uh, just recently at retail uh, uh, at Toys R Us I believe and I, that just made me realize I didn't pick up any of the first wave. So I decided to go ahead and start looking for those before picking up uh, any of the new wave 2. And uh, at, I believe Target, I was able to pick these up for about uh, $10 each. Uh, these are three of the figures from the first wave of Brain Attack. Uh, we have uh, Raka and uh, Scarox and a breeze and of course uh, I still have a few more to pick up in that wave before I move to uh, wave two so uh, those are pretty cool now these I believe are ten dollars each at uh, most retailers so pretty neat and uh, over the weekend uh, was the Big Wow Comic Fest uh, comic convention uh, in San Jose, California, and uh, I was kind of iffy about whether to go or not, but because there was no WonderCon this year in the Bay Area, uh, they had it down in Southern California earlier this year, I uh, decided to go ahead and go, uh, since uh, that's probably, the Big Wow was probably the next largest comic convention in the Bay Area for the year, and uh, me and Munchkin Number 2 went down there, and didn't pick up too much um, oops, excuse me didn't pick up too much over there while we were there but uh, of course you got this here a little pass yeah for going munchkin number two was free since he was uh, under eight years old but some of the free stuff oh, of course uh, the big wow this is uh, on May 18th and 19th and Stan Lee showed up on the 19th so that was kind of cool but we went on the 18th on Saturday but uh, that's kind of cool there and uh, some of the events that uh, went on on Saturday and uh, on Sunday here not as many events on Sunday but uh, the big one of course being Stan Lee uh, showing up there and you got the program guide uh, for Big Wow Comic Fest I'm kind of glad uh, we went uh, because uh, WonderCon was the event for me uh, when it was being held in the uh, uh, Bay Area. It, uh, but with it being done in Southern California this year, hopefully it won't, it'll come back. But uh, Big Wow would be the next best thing. So I uh, picked up this. This is a Tomashi Nations uh, catalog I found 
over at, uh, at one of the exhibitors. And uh, pretty cool. Uh, you get a nice preview of some of the import goodness that I have been uh, hooked on uh, recently. So pretty cool. Uh, some One Piece stuff. Well, this is interesting. I didn't know they were producing some Star Wars stuff related stuff too. But uh, pretty cool. And uh, I'm not sure what this is. Monster Attack Team. Up there and just some promotional materials for Magic the Gathering, the latest release, Gate Crash. This well, this was a pre-release back in January, but uh, the regular release just came out. Uh, I think in the last month. So uh, just some of the freebies there. And oh, forgot, got a couple prints also, free prints of Hellboy there. Pretty. Let me see if I can get that in focus. Pretty cool. Nice print there. BPRD Hell on Earth and uh, a couple of the uh, Star Trek Into Darkness uh, movie that came out uh, during the same weekend as the comic fest so those are the freebies there now being a comic related con like, we didn't pick up any comic books unfortunately we only are only able to pick up a few items uh, right here I was able to find uh, these. Uh, these are the Iron Man 2 Hall of Armor Collection 4-inch uh, scale. And uh, these uh, uh, these came out, what, three years ago, I think? Two or three years ago. But I found these. But I really wanted them for the base to uh, help build uh, my armory for my 4-inch uh, figures. And I found a couple of them. And... Uh, they were at a decent price too, uh, six bucks. But uh, the exhibitor uh, let me have them for ten bucks for the both of these, so five bucks each, which is a pretty decent price. Uh, these uh, were, I think, originally, I'd like to say twelve dollars when they first came out, uh, and I did pick up a few, and then uh, I noticed that they had went on clearance down to even two dollars uh, when they were trying to clear these out. Uh, but uh, I didn't pick them up, so, but for five bucks, uh, it's not too shabby. These are both Mark 1s, but I didn't get it for the figures. I really got it for the base, so. I wish I had found a few more of these at this price. That would have been uh, pretty decent. And uh, these figures will probably go to Munchkin number two. I'm pretty sure he's interested in those. And uh, I only picked up a couple other items. So, uh, uh, this one here... Uh, DC Comics Unlimited Wonder Woman. This is actually for a friend of mine uh, over on uh, uh, YouTube and Facebook, uh, Carolyn Rowland. Uh, hang loose there. And uh, this is for you. And this will be on the way to you. And uh, this one here is for me. This is the only one I really picked up besides that those Iron Man figures. And this is uh, the Red She-Hulk in that Hit Monkey Wave on there. So... And this one I picked up for, uh, I think it was $20, or $25, uh, I think, on there. And uh, I've not been able to find uh, any of the, or not any of the, uh, uh, Wave, or at least at Big Box Retail. I only found that Hyperion at a comic shop. And I have not seen uh, the Protector, I, I think that's that character's name. Uh, not the uh, Guardian there. But, uh, let's see, uh, yesterday, uh, I did find some stuff at Toys R Us, and, uh, found some Minimate goodness, which is, uh, pretty cool, uh, from the Iron Man 3 movie, and I haven't collected Minimates in quite a while, it's been a while, and, uh, saw these, and had to pick them up. Uh, you got the Heartbreaker Iron Man and Tony Stark, a Toys R Us exclusive, and uh, Iron Man Mark 42 in Mandarin, and uh, see what's this one here, Iron Patriot and Extremist Soldier, and uh, here is uh, Silver Centurion Iron Man and Skeleton Armor Iron Man. 
So uh, these are all about seven fifty each. So you get two Toys R Us exclusives. I don't know what the comic book store exclusives are. They're not shown on here. So I'll have to look that up and find out uh, which figure sets I'm missing on that. It, this was just bugging me. This is not Guardian. That's uh, uh, Iron Fist. <laughs> I don't know why I said Guardian. Uh, some other stuff at Toys R Us I was able to pick up. I found these. All the Warcraft uh, figures. I picked these up a, a while back. But they had a sale on these. Buy one, get two free. And uh, these are the uh, mini figures for World of Warcraft. Actually, all three of them are the same. Uh, Rage Rock. So I have four of these guys now. And four. Uh, these were selling for individually for seven bucks. So uh, seven bucks for three figure sets and uh, uh, the nice pieces to go with it. Uh, it was a pretty decent deal, and uh, especially if you want an army build. But uh, I got three of the orcs, because I'm a big fan of orcs. And uh, let's see here. Finally, some uh, other items I picked up at Toys R Us. Uh, Walking Dead Mini Mates. These, again, are going to Carolyn. So, uh, there we go. Pretty neat. And uh, finally, I was able to find uh, this here. Uh, Skylanders Giants uh, Scarlet uh, Ninjini. Uh, which... Uh, I wasn't really looking f uh, to getting for to getting. Uh, it would have been nice if I found it, and I did find it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but I've really been looking for the last four uh, regular releases, but it's still nice to have a, a, an exclusive uh, special set. So, pretty cool. And uh, they had a sale at Toys R Us. Uh, buy one Skylander, get the other one 60% off. So I decided to go ahead and pick up this one, another exclusive, Toys R Us exclusive, the Legendary uh, Chill on there. So since I haven't got this one yet, and I think this is a light core as well. Yeah, uh, light core. There we go. So I got this one for 60% off, so pretty cool. Uh, pretty extensive goodie haul uh, this time around. Uh, I'd like to thank you uh, for watching, uh, and I'll see you guys next time.